Hi everyone, hope you're doing absolutely awesome. This is going to be a quick overview of the Cold Steel 3 inch paring knife from Cold Steel's Kitchen Classics line. This is the paper insert which came in the clamshell packaging. Here's the back side so you can read it. So let me quickly go over the specs of the knife as measured by myself. We have a 2.9 inch blade or 74 millimeters. The weight of the knife is 1.3 ounces or 38 grams. We have a blade stock thickness of 0 0.059 inches or 1.5 millimeters. And the handle thickness here at the widest portion is 0 0.62 inches or 16 millimeters. The blade is constructed of German 4116 steel, which is a basic kitchen cutlery steel. It is advertised as being cryo-quenched, which may add to the edge retention a bit. The primary bevel of the blade is flat ground, and also you can notice that the last quarter inch or so on the heel of the blade is unsharpened. The handle is constructed of a hard plastic core with a soft synthetic rubber overmold. I think they call it craton. So this whole area here is soft rubber. And it also has a kind of a diamond pattern molded into it. So the handle is very grippy. Here's a comparison with a Victorinox sheep's foot paring knife. You can see the blade length on the Victorinox is about a half inch longer. The grip lengths are very similar. The actual usable grip lengths are almost identical. However, the Cold Steel's handle is a lot thicker than the Victorinox's, so that may appeal to you. And also, like I said, the Cold Steel has a rubber overmold over the whole grip, whereas this on the Victorinox is hard plastic. The handle is long enough for my four fingers, but if you have really thick fingers, your pinky may be going off the back end of the knife here. So let's test the sharpness out of the clamshell. Here I have a sheet of standard copier paper. Yeah, it's plenty sharp. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, I'd love to hear from you. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And have a great day. Bye now.